The KTW Great Food Drive is underway. The goal this year, collect enough donations to provide more than a million meals for people and families in need. So far, we're at 150,000 meals. Safeway makes it easy to give. You can donate when you check out. You can also donate at kgw.com slash food drive. This is a great week to give because our partners at Rivermark Community Credit Union are matching the first $5,000 donated. And a big thanks to all of our food drive partners, Rivermark, Safeway, Pacific Office Automation, and local Toyota dealers who step up every year for this effort. I would say there's so many different ways to help. So you can come and give your sweat equity, give your time, give, give that to the sorting here at the Oregon Food Bank. Um, there's again, monetary donations where there's QR codes at whether the Toyota dealerships or at the other locations. And then there's always just the drop off. So we have drop offs at Beaverton Toyota and all Toyota locations. And the KTW Great Food Drive is celebrating 21 years. And all this week, we're sharing the stories of the people that make this happen and those on the receiving end. Daisy Caballero stopped by the food pantry at Kelly Elementary School in Southeast Portland that serves hundreds of families every month. What started as a two-shelf food pantry 16 years ago at Kelly Elementary in Southeast Portland has grown to a market-style pantry that feeds over 400 families every month. Of course, providing food once a week will not solve everyone's problems, <laughs> but it'll take one burden off their plates. And the need for food assistance is continuously growing. Nearly 2 million Oregonians visited an Oregon food bank last year. That's a 14% increase from 2022. All this money on the food that gets raised during the KGW food drive eventually benefits our pantries and adds a lot of choices for our clients. 80 percent of the families the Kelly Pantry serves identify as Asian and are often seniors, though the Hispanic and Latino communities are also in need, including people like Marina, a mother who has been coming to the pantry for six months. Bueno, en lo personal. Personally, it's a really big help because we go home with all the food they provide us here. Then we go to the store to buy whatever else we need. And this important work is done with the help of volunteers, many who understand food insecurity on a personal level. It feels good because I know there's families that don't know of resources. My family personally didn't have those resources before, but now being able to be here and giving back to the community and having uh, food distributions for family in need makes me feel extremely good. And the majority of the food that you see here is locally sourced from farmers. We'll have that story for you Thursday right here on KGW. Daisy Caballero, KGW News.